The graph at the top of the screen is a general hypothetical potential energy function, u of x. The graph on the bottom of the screen is the corresponding force function, f of x, which is obtained from the gradient of the potential energy function. Since we know that the force is equal to the negative of the gradient of the potential energy function. I just want to talk you through some of the salient points of these plots. First of all, at x1 and x3, we have stable equilibrium points. The gradient of the potential energy function is zero, and therefore the force is also zero. Consider a point to the left of x1. The gradient of the potential energy function is negative, and therefore the force is positive. In other words, it's in the positive x direction, and so it is towards the point x1. To the right of x1, the gradient of the potential energy function is positive, so therefore the force is negative. In other words, it's in the negative x direction, and so it is towards x1. Right, now let's consider x2 and x4. The gradient of the potential energy function is also zero at these points, and therefore they are equilibrium points as well. However, if we look to the left of x2, the gradient of the potential energy function is positive, and therefore the force is negative. In other words, it's away from x2. To the right of x2, the gradient of the potential energy function is negative, so the force is positive. So again, it is away from x2. So x2 and x4, four, for that matter, are positions of unstable equilibrium. Generally, any maximum in a potential energy curve is an unstable equilibrium position. An analogy that you might like to think of is a marble balanced on top of a bowling ball. If the total energy of the system is E1, and the particle is initially near X1, it can only move between xa and xb, the positions where the horizontal line E1 cuts the potential energy curve. The particle is said to be stuck or confined in a potential well, and xa and xb are the turning points of the particle's motion. If instead the total energy is E2, the particle can move from xc to xd. If, on the other hand, the total energy is E3 or greater, the particle can escape from the potential well and move off to infinity. <laughs>